today, Pet Simulator X changed the rewards and they made it go all the way up to tier 150. So in this video, I'm gonna be beating it. I'm gonna have to get so many stars and it is gonna take a while, but I think we can do it. I wanna be one of the first people to get to tier 150. But first, do you want a free huge? Just like the video, subscribe, and comment your Roblox username. I choose one random winner every video, so here's last video's winner. But it basically just started and gifts just reset, which is exactly what I was waiting for because I kind of already saved up 93 stars to see how far I could get. I got these when I was grinding during streaming and just kind of was waiting for the free gifts to reset. But since I'm waiting for the merchant and waiting for free gifts to reset, let's just claim as much as we can with 93 stars and see how far we can get in the very beginning. Now, this is probably not going to get us too far, but in the beginning, it literally just cost one to get whatever it is. So these are like pretty easy, but I'm lucky because at the beginning, there are only one star, but I remember last time around 100, it became like 10 stars, which is absolutely crazy. Okay, now we're at two stars starting tier 26. So stuff is going to start getting expensive and I'm just getting a whole bunch of like random stuff right now. Not really anything super important. Bro, they actually, did they make it easier or something? Because I'm literally on 55 and it's still two stars. That is crazy. Okay, just what I was able to do in the very beginning after grinding for a little bit on stream and while waiting, I got to tier 59. But we still have over 100 tiers left and it is going to start getting much, much more expensive very soon. I can finally start my one star quest again because now I can claim one free gift and now I got to hatch 100 pets from Cat World Eggs. Guess we just got to wait for more free gifts in the merchant. I hatched 100, but now I got to claim one free gift again, but I need to claim two for my three star quest. So there we go. More stars. Easy. Merchant hasn't spawned in like an hour for some reason. I think it's supposed to spawn every hour, but all I need to do is break 25 more chests. That's going to be really easy in Hacker World. After like not long of clicking chests, we can just get that free one star. Now I got to break 100 coins. Best area for this is probably spawn world. There are coins over like all the areas, especially the front. And that's done. Hatch 25 legendary pets and a 300 normal pets. Let's just go to Summer World and try to get some cool stuff. Just a few minutes later, I got four stars. It is pretty pay to win though, because like I have eight times open. With one times open, that takes so long. Bro, why do I have claim three free gifts again? I keep getting that over and over again. I'm going to have to wait like 20 minutes to be able to finish that. That's crazy. Breaking 25 vaults is going to be super easy though in pixel vaults. And there we go. I got some bad pets so I can enchant 20 of them. Or wait, I just realized I already had legendaries. And the next one star quest is hatching 100 pets from Kawaii World Eggs. Oh wait, the traveling immersion just arrived. We need to unlock my two star quest. Let's go. I legit only need to buy one pet from him and I'm good. I think I'll get the cheapest one because I don't really need any of those. And that's all we needed to do. Gold, 30 pets. I have quite a bit of pets. I can still make gold. Okay, maybe not that many because I still need to make 22 more gold. But you know what that means? Turning on legendaries for Kawaii World. I said our opening the wrong egg. All right, we definitely got enough to make some golden pets. Never mind, I need six more. I guess I can do my dog world quest too at the same time as getting goldens. Or wait, no, I forgot it for like you probably the wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna open this one and then make them golden. Now the dog world quest is done. And the gold quest is finally done too. Let's go back to Pixel Vault to break 75 more safes. Another two star event quest done. Now let's rainbow 10 pets. Kept getting gold pets, so now this is finally good. I can get rid of these. Okay, so now I gotta break 150 crates. I like to do this in Cat World Cat Taiga because it's just like, it seems like a lot of crates spawn there. That went pretty fast. Now we're back to breaking vaults. That's over. I'm gonna, oh, break 75 safes. Okay. The safes are not gonna be safe around me because like, I'm, I'm gonna break them. I don't really know what I was going with that, but there we go. Oh, good. I got claim two free gifts. Now I'm gonna do the hatch legendary pets just in case I get claim one free gift for the one star quest. And I still gotta wait two minutes for my third gift, so it really doesn't matter that much. Oh, I got another shiny Tiki Dominus. So let's go. That's the second shiny one I've ever hatched, but we only need two more legendaries. And there we go. And I broke 100 more coins. Bro, gold 25 pets again. Bro, I just had five pets fail three times in a row. There's no way 12% failed three times in a row. Yeah, like, that's finally over. I keep getting breaking stuff, so I'm just gonna claim my gifts. So there we go, all three. Bro, we gotta buy merchant pets again. We gotta wait for that guy to respawn. Luckily, I have some pets waiting in the dark matter machine though, so let's claim one of them. All right, break 50 presents and 50 vaults. The pink area in Pixel World definitely has the most gifts. All right, I broke all the presents, so I wonder if you can guess where 
where we're gonna go for vaults. That's done. Oh, activate server triple damage boost. I like those type of quests. All right, damage and then hatch 10 mythical pets. We can do that in the summer world. I'm probably gonna get gold quests again soon, so I'm just gonna open the normal egg. Ah, uh, the traveling merchant arrived and I also hatched the mythics. We need to go to the other traveling merchant. I was paying attention. Okay, good. He's still here for nine minutes. It looks like he just came here. So I'm gonna get like three golden hot dogs, I guess. I'll get a rainbow and then three server triple coin boosts. And then dark matter three pets. I have them waiting in my dark matter machine. Here we go. Then more triple coin boost, but I gotta put some more pets in here for later. All right, more triple coin boost. Bro, I got a dark matter three pets again. I just took them out. I got that quest right after the other one. Okay, I guess we're gonna gold more pets for my two star quest. Luckily, I saved all my puffer fish to make them golden because now we just gotta break 50 vaults again. We keep getting vault quests, which is not bad because they're pretty fast. Yep, it did go very fast. You already know where we're gonna go to hatch 10 more mythical pets. All right, I hatched a whole bunch of eggs here. Bro, dark matter still has like 20 seconds. All right, we got these two and there we go. Axolotl ocean eggs. Tech world eggs. Now I've got a lot of stuff to break. 50 crates, 50 chests, and 300 crates. Luckily, I know the perfect place for crates and chests, which is Pixel Alps. Bro, look at those numbers going down though. Walking back and forth with an auto clicker goes crazy. And I just completed two of those quests. I still gotta break 250 more crates. And there we just got three stars. Three more dark matter pets. I'm gonna once again break more diamonds. That quest is done. And there's an empty trade completed with my alt for my next one star quest. I'm gonna break 50 presents in Pixel Alps or whatever this area is. And whenever I get another open 100 eggs from somewhere, I'm just gonna keep everything because I have to make 10 golden pets with a 13% chance. And right now I only have good pets. There go the presents. I got a rainbow five more pets. I don't really have any gold pets left. So we're just gonna go crazy at the summer event once again. I don't know where this scary cat in my inventory came from, but we can definitely make the rainbow. We forgot to turn legendary back on, so uh-oh. All right, just three more. And I made the rainbows, so we kind of got a gold 10 pets with a very, very low chance. Bro, literally all my Tiki Dominus has failed. I swear, whenever I put good pets in it at 13%, it never becomes golden. But whenever I put like bad pets from the spawn world, even at 13%, it becomes like golden a lot more. Let's get some bad pets real quick. The 12% chance of losing five pets seems to happen a lot more than the 13% chance of golding one pet. Bro, out of like the 30 pets I put in in total, only one of them became gold. It is definitely not working right today. Day. Bro, I just need two more. For some reason, like, even though I only have, like, ten dogs, four of them worked. And then basically nothing else really worked. I forgot to turn keep back on. I finally got the last one. Let's go. Still no merchant. I don't really know what he's doing. But I just broke 30 safes, and it looks like it's time to go back to the diamond mine. Bro, what is this thing in the diamond mine? It literally is just floating in the air and says four. It's, like, broken. That one, too, also says four. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the first area. I wish that it showed you the diamond mine limit somewhere. Like, I don't know when it's gonna kick me out of the diamond miner if that's even gonna happen soon. Okay, luckily I didn't get kicked out. I guess I didn't reach the limit yet, but I just got three more stars. No, the traveling merchant has five seconds. No, he's leaving. Ah, yeah, I bought it. Like, last second, bro. That was crazy. I don't know why it changes from, like, six seconds to leaving at five seconds. That, like, scared me a little bit. I just gotta enchant a whole bunch of pets and hatch ten mythical pets. So, let's go. It's the fantasy world. Put them on royalty once again. That was a lot of enchanting, but now I just gotta do three damage boosts, then break 200 chests. That was pretty fast. Now I got a rainbow five pets with 13% chance. Bro, like one dog worked and now- Oh wait, it finally worked right when I was about to say none of them are working. Let's go. Two more. One more. And it worked. Let's go. We did the rainbow quest. Bro, now I gotta buy three more pets from the merchants. But the merchant guy just disappeared like 10 minutes ago. Time to hatch more mythical pets. All right, I've been hatching pets like crazy. I kind of went to the wrong egg though. I meant to go to the better egg, but the volcano egg is close enough. I think it's time to break 100 more coins. My other two quests are are kind of just to buy pets from the merchant again who keeps disappearing pretty much every hour and the coins have been broken now i gotta enroll five pets into daycare i hope that i didn't forget about it and accidentally put my pets in daycare already and good they're ready unless if they fixed it i'm pretty sure you have to enroll one at a time or else it doesn't count All right i'm gonna put one more in the daycare and that quest is loading because the daycare is freezing for some reason okay there we go i've been getting stars like crazy though i think it is time to spend all of them because i have 109. Let's see how far we can get. Right now it only costs two, bro. Right after I bought that one that costs two, it instantly costs three. Okay, I mean, that is not too bad. I still have 101 stars. I bet we can get pretty far this time. It's crazy how I didn't spend any stars until now. I think I've been grinding for about, like, maybe another few hours. I don't really know. I wasn't really paying too much attention, but now it's costing four already. It is starting to 
gonna get pretty expensive. We are gonna be losing a lot of stars. I only have 26 stars left, and it is still only costing four, though. That's, that's not too bad, I guess. Oh, wait, that's two out of four. Okay, we got to tier 91. I think it's time for a one-star quest montage until the traveling merchant comes back. I don't really know what to do. I'm stuck right now. If I make the wrong move, I could possibly not get to tier 150 tonight. Because I have to claim one free gift for my one star quest, but I only have six gifts left. So if I get three pets from the merchant, and then I get three gifts twice, I'm not going to be able to do it the second time. I think at this point, it might just be the best idea to wait for the merchant. But while we're waiting, I have 37 stars. So let's see how far we can get with that. Can we get to tier 100 yet? Or almost, maybe? All right, we can get a few more tiers. Now it's starting to cost five, and we're at tier 99. I joined a trading server to look look for a traveling merchant and someone just bought a titanic hologram cat for 9.99 trillion. So people are saying it already spawned but in my VIP server it did not spawn so I don't really know what's going on with that one. Maybe the traveling merchant just decided to be angry today. Bro what the mysterious merchant arrived? I've literally never seen him before. He disappears in 8 minutes. Okay well he's selling Tiki Dominus with server much better price than the other guy. I just completed that quest and then I completed the other quest. Let's go. I'm even gonna buy the normal ones for 45 million. That is a much better deal than the other guy. And then I don't really need pineapple cats, but now we're finally done with that I gotta hatch 10 mythical pets and break 200 volts and like you can already guess what's going on based on where I'm teleporting There's the damage boost and then enchant 100 pets Well, I think I kind of want to break 200 volts some more. It sounds more fun and I broke all the vaults Now I gotta break 200 chests and you already know hacker portal. There are the chests go once again No, I'm under the map though. It's gonna glitch me. I gotta teleport away Bro, a chest spawn on me and just push me under there. We gotta go back to the pixel vault again I finally broke all the safes. Now we just have to do some server boosts. And there are the coin boosts. Bro, no way wants me to break 250 safes once again. I just spent like 5 or 10 minutes doing that. Finally broke 250 safes again. Bro, now I gotta break vaults. I swear everything is safes and vaults. 200 vaults later, I have coin server boosts again, which is definitely the best quest. And then dark matter 3 pets. I haven't gotten dark matter pet quest in a while. But there we go. And back to the chests. I'm getting another 3 stars. Break 300 crates. Another 3 stars. Dark Matter 3 pets again. Alright, while I wait for my pets that are already in the Dark Matter machine to Dark Matter, I'm gonna make some more enchanted pets. I did that, now I gotta hatch a hundred legendary pets once again. Let's just leave it on this egg. Oh, there we got a hundred legendaries. Bro, wants me to enchant another hundred pets. I swear, it just repeats the same quests back to back and then like changes it every now and then. It's weird. Finally, I'm done enchanting again, but I gotta break 50 vaults. I just realized, okay, the two-star quests are actually way easier than the three-star quests because the three-star was like break 200 and you only get one extra star. Two-star quests go kind of crazy not gonna lie. And just like that, I already broke 50 vaults. Bro, now we gotta break 150 crates. Okay, maybe two-star quests don't go as crazy as I just claimed. I just completed a random quest that's not part of the summer event, but I got 100 quest points from it, so let's go. Alright, finally broke 150 crates. Making 10 pets rainbow is gonna be really easy. Let me do that real quick. Bro, I ran out of golden pets. I literally just need to make one more rainbow. There we go! 150 crates again, bro. It keeps giving me the same ones. Like, it alternates in between, like, the same one for some reason. Like, basically back-to-back. -back. But I think my dark matter pass should be ready here. I said that so wrong, but one minute. I think the one minute is long enough for me to run back and forth on my hoverboard with an auto clicker. Okay, now let's claim my dark matter machine. One, two, three, and then we're gonna put more pets in it for later. I think I should grind my two star quest until it becomes a claim free gift quest, so I don't have to like run out of free gifts after I do this and then get one later for number two. All right, server damage, triple boost, coins boost, bro, damage again, and break 150 crates once again. Okay, Pesimex really wants me to break crates today, and after the crates, I gotta buy one more pet from the merchants again but where are the merchants you might be wondering wait he's still here no he's leaving buy it buy it. yes yes we bought it right before it left let's go sell five pets in a trading booth again all right all right i have alerted the people in the server that i am selling pufferfish for one diamond and this is a normal trading server so once again it's a lot easier to sell bad pets for one here all right one more left and there we go i got two stars then activate one server triple coins boost all right bet those are my favorite quests because it's literally just one button for free stars coins boost bro i swear if it gives me crates again right after this 
buy one pet from the merchants, but he just disappeared. Wait, what? He still has two minutes? It said he was disappearing last time. I don't know how that works, but okay. Let's get 10 more mythicals. Okay, the traveling merchant left, so hopefully I don't get him again. I only have a few mythicals left that I need to hatch. All right, we got the mythics. Break 50 vaults now. That was very fast. Okay, enchant 100 pets once again. I enchanted the pets, and guess what we got after? Claim free gifts again. So I guess I'm gonna have to claim three so that we can get that over with, and hopefully we don't have to do that again soon, but now all my quests are reset. So rainbow five pets with 13%, that's decent. Hatch mythical pets, that's good, and hatch dog world eggs, all right. So I kind of just cleared my quest. I kind of want to see how far we can get in this again. I want to spend my stars, so let's get really far in it. We already got a pirate egg, so now we need to get all the way up to 150. Hopefully it doesn't become six stars soon, because that's going to be pretty expensive. Still five stars out of 111. We're doing pretty good, I think. And yep, two out of five, 116 now. One more rainbow pet. Let's hope one of these Tiki Dominuses becomes a rainbow. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna go for the 200 vaults now. And I broke all the vaults again. Hash 300 pets. Let's go. Here we got the one star, and this egg is actually really easy for mythical eggs. We're basically doing all the quests right now. So I have to get mythicals, legendaries, and hatch pets. There, we just got two points. There's the legendary quest. Then there are the three stars. Rainbow, five more pets. Okay, let's go. Eight Tiki Dominuses, two more rainbow pets. Let's go. Seven, and I need one more. Uh oh, only three more. The last one. Uh oh. And yeah, we're gonna have to get more. Yeah, there we go. Five pets in day here, but we can just claim one at a time, and for some reason it counts. And I got it in a roll of one, so there we go. 200 vaults once again. All right, I broke 200 vaults. That allows me to break 300 crates. At least we also got to break chests. I'm doing that at the same time. Here are the two stars. Now the crates quest is done. Okay, rainbow 10 pets. Activated cone boost. Bro, why did I say it like that? I've been playing pet Simex way too long today. I'm gonna activate this, and then, bro, we're getting another one. Then lucky boost. Now hatch 10 mythical pets, but I think we should sell pets in the trading booth now. Let's sell puffer fish for one again. Daycare again, time to enroll one at a time. There we go. I gotta enchant. 300 more pets. After so long, I enchanted 300 pets. 200 more chests. All right, that's done. 250 safes again. Okay, I broke all the safes. Bro, hatch 300 pets. Okay. I needed to hatch 10 mythical pets anyways. Ooh, I got claim three free gifts already. I also got to trade with three players, so let me just join on my all again. While I'm waiting for all that, I'll break 50 presents real quick in Pixel World. There goes that quest. I don't think a Microsoft app Roblox works too well. I literally have like maybe five FPS on it, it's not that great. But then my normal Roblox works completely fine. Anyways, this is the last trade. And there we go. 75 safes, and I know the perfect place to do that once again. We got all the safes, and a whole bunch of chests. Back to the server triple damage boosts, and then break 75 safes again. Just like before, I'm gonna try to wait until I get multiple claim free gift things, because I only have three left. Broke all the safes again, and bro, wants me to buy pets from the merchant. I don't know when he's gonna be back, so I'm just gonna have to hatch 25 legendary pets. I got the legendary, so now we're going to Kawaii World for the next quest. I completed the Kawaii World one and now I just completed the legendary one again because I got it back. Only 25 vaults. That's going to be really fast. That did not take long at all. 50 crates now. That's done. Claim one free gift. Okay, now I just need to do buying a pet from the merchant, but I don't really know if I should do that. I don't have to wait for the merchant, but it is probably going to be worth it because I'm probably going to get claim two free gifts soon and I don't want my two star thing to be stuck waiting for the next gift thing to reset because that's going to take a while. Bro, the merchant spawned right as I tabbed out and <laughs> he like came back. Okay, we're gonna get one of those and two stars. Sell five pets in the trading booth. Let's go. People are liking the free pufferfish. We already sold three out of five. And there's the last sale. I got two stars. I just got another mythical and we completed that quest. Dark matter one pet. That let's go over here. That was really easy and fast. Oh wait, is the merchant still here? I hope the merchant's still here because I got a I got another one for the merchant. Come on, merchant, don't leave yet, please, please, merchant. Yeah, he's still here for four minutes. Let's go and buy another hot dog and then activate one lucky server boost. Then trade with three players again. My alt is still here. Very laggy on five FPS. <laughs> when I try checking the FPS on my alt, it literally says infinite per second. I'm pretty sure it's not infinite. It's like five. Then the last trade went through, so I got to enchant 100 pets. This is the last enchant I need to do, and my next quest is breaking 75 safes again. Oh, uh, the traveling merchant's gonna be gone for the next 50 minutes. Let's hope I don't get another traveling merchant quest. And safe quest over for like the 10th time this video, bro. Buy one pet from the merchants right after he goes away. Alright, I can either wait 
wait the next hour and hope that I get all my merchant quests is done around then, or I can claim my last three gifts and risk losing my two star quest to it, making me need to claim more gifts. I think I'm just gonna claim them, be honest. And new gifts ready in three hours. Am I gonna have to stay up that long to complete this? We're gonna find out, but next I gotta break 300 crates again with the three stars. Okay, now successfully rainbow five pets with 13% chance again. I'm glad they at least nerfed them, because like in the beginning of the summer event, some of these quests were like a lot harder. Okay, that was actually really fast. I kind of got lucky that time. I think I only put like maybe 10 pets in it and like half of them came out rainbow. That's the first time it worked that well. So let's go back to tech world. 200 chests again. Here are all the chests for like the 20th time in this video. Now I got a gold 10 pets with a 13% chance. I literally just need one more and there we go. Now I got to break 250 safes for like the 50th time. Safe quest is finally gone again. I got to hatch 300 pets and 100 fantasy world eggs. So I might as well do both at the same time. I hatched the 100 here, but I kind of only need to hatch four more and there. Three tip pearl server damage boost. That's going to be pretty easy. Okay, one, two, three, and then break 200 vaults again. I'm not going to lie, enchanting 20 pets seems super fast, so I'm going to do that real quick. And it's done, so let's go break 50 crates and 200 vaults. Broke the crates and the vaults. Hatch 300 pets and 100 doodle world eggs. Let's do them both. Okay, I did both the quests, so I got a gold 25 pets and then sell 10 pets in the trading booth. Last gold pet, and there we go. Bro, five more pets in the daycare real quick, though. And one's ready, so I only need to put four in now. Bro, why does it say claim? But then whenever I go to claim it, it takes a long, long time to load and says this slot is not ready to be claimed. Like, thanks pet simulator for telling me my pet is ready. And then saying that it's not ready, like, okay, anyways, one more pet in the daycare, and there we go. I think it is once again trading booth time, so let's go to another normal server. I just gotta wait for my 10 puffer fish to sell for one diamond each. It's taking a little bit of time, but there we go, we sold all and got three stars. No, my next three star quest is claiming three free gifts. I'm gonna have to wait so many hours for that one. All right, now we gotta rely on two and one star quests. Well, the merchant isn't here yet either, so all I really have is the one star quest for the next. I guess until the merchant comes in like maybe half an hour and then hopefully I don't get any more free gift ones or I'm gonna have to wait another three hours and I really want to go to bed soon. I wish that like hardcore mode had like a different set of gifts or something like I don't know it has a different set of everything else like even the daycare. All right hatched 100 tech world eggs and now we gotta hatch 100 fantasy world eggs. That's done but kawaii world is next. Hatched 100 of those two now spawn world. Now we gotta break 150 diamonds. Next up is breaking 25 chests. That is gonna be extremely fast too. Back to kawaii world I guess. Okay, I got 100 kawaii world eggs once again, and I gotta break 25 vaults. This is getting extremely, extremely repetitive. You guys probably feel like you've been at this point in the video like 10 times already. I cut like 95% of the stuff out, like, you broke all that and gotta go to dog world next, but like, I've been grinding pretty much since the update came out. For like the billionth time in the video, I finished opening 100 eggs, but it looks like my all is making a third or fourth comeback because I gotta trade with one player. Wait, apparently traveling merchant has arrived, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna teleport to the spawn world and we're gonna check that out. I really hope he oh yeah he is here for two more minutes let's go I almost missed him though that would have been really bad but we just got two stars and I gotta activate one triple coin boost we can always trade my alt later all right triple coins and then break 150 crates of course let's just finish trading with my alt real quick only thing really worth it right now would be breaking 150 crates oh there the traveling merchant goes hope he doesn't give me any more quests soon he probably is though done with the crates again dark matter one pet let's go I already have some ready so let's again claim one break 50 checks is next why is two stars break 50 but then three stars is like a break 200. That's kind of a lot, a lot more. I already finished that one. Then rainbow 10 pets. My converting mastery is going crazy. It's level 74 now. I might get the weird converting hoverboard or whatever you get later. All right, the last one. There we go. 75 safes again. Back to the pixel vault and back to breaking safes. We broke enough vaults. Lucky summer boost now. Or why did I say summer boost? Server boost. I'm just like thinking about the summer event and like finishing the summer event, you know? Okay, lucky server boost. There we go. Coin server boost. Let's go and break 50 vaults again. Bro, vaults are more common in this area, but then it has you, like, break more safes than vaults for some reason. That's kind of funny. Another free two stars. Now I got a gold 30 pets. Ooh, I don't have that many pets to make golden. Uh, I guess I'll open cat world eggs first, and hopefully I get a good world next. I can get decent pets to make golden. Hash enough of those. Now axolotl ocean world eggs. I think this is only, like, the second or third time the whole video hashing out a lot of or axolotl eggs, so that's, like, kind of rare. Okay, next world is, well, actually breaking 25 chests, which is basically already done because hacker rolled chests are super easy. Ooh, now I have two quests to gold a whole bunch of pets. I think right now the best thing to do is just get a whole bunch of pets that I can gold, so let's go to the summer event to hatch. I want to mention, why are 316 of the huge butterflies still remaining? Like, that is really, really rare, I guess. There's the one-star quest, and there's the two-star quest. We're actually getting quite a bit
give it the stars. We're at 171 stars right now, which is probably the most I've ever been at, and we're already at tier 119 almost. So I think we should try buying as much as we can right now and see how far we can actually get into it. So it's probably gonna be the second last time that we actually buy everything. It's only five, and we're getting like hundreds of boosts and stuff. So this is a pretty good deal right now, and it is becoming six stars per tier. It's starting to get kind of expensive. I hope it doesn't become a seven soon. Yep, it is still six. Come on, don't become a seven. I mean, oh wait, no, there we go. Now it's seven stars per tier, but we're literally at tier 143. It's eight now, though. Bro, we are so close to the end. That is, like, not far away at all. All right, we opened 100 spawn world eggs for that one star quest. Now it's hatch 25 legendary pets, and the other one is hatch 100. So, I don't even have to explain it this time. You guys already know exactly what's going on. There's the one star quest. Uh-oh, my two star quest is claimed two free gifts. And we still have, like, seven more tiers I need to claim. That is not looking good, because my free gifts reset in two hours. 16 minutes. All we have is one star quest now. I can go to the trading plaza and sell one of my pets. Oh, this guy is stuck in my booth. Maybe he wants to buy my fish. Oh yeah, he did want to buy my fish. All right, next is enchant 20 pets. We can do that in this plaza. I swear, if it becomes claim one free gift, then I, I'm just gonna have to wait. Like, I don't know what to do at that point, because... Okay, and the next one is hatch 100 pets from the pixel world eggs. I did the pixel world quest, so now on to doodle world for like probably the fifth time. Bro, this is the third time in the video where I complete it and it just says hatch zero pet like okay i'm gonna try teleporting to hardcore and see if it has different gifts i mean i don't think it does i'm really hoping it does though so i don't have to wait another two hours and nope i still gotta wait two hours the daycare is separate but for some reason the free gifts aren't okay somehow we're gonna have to complete like 61 star quests without any of them being claiming free gifts or else this might not work out too well uh free chest left though and trade with one player let's get my all bro why is it asking me if it's fair on both sides like it's literally an empty trade trade. All right, and then enchant 20 pets again. Oh, I got another star from that. Now fantasy world eggs. There we go, another star. Wow, that means we can go all the way up to tier 144. We're on 145 now, or you need eight stars still. Bro, the end is literally right here. I don't even have to scroll to reach the end anymore. It's just I have to claim free gifts, which I can't because I already did that, and I gotta wait two hours, but it's literally 3 a.m., and I gotta go to church tomorrow, so like, I don't know. I also just hatch 100 spawn world eggs and see what happens. That's done. Kawaii world's next. Oh, I did that and now look at my quest. Okay, wait for this weird thing to close. Claim one free gift. Claim two free gifts and claim three free gifts. That means we are staying up for another one hour and 58 minutes, basically two hours. So I kind of waited until like 5 a.m. so that the gifts are ready, but now we can actually complete this. So I got one free gift already. So we just got to continue whatever random stuff wants me to do. So we got a rainbow 10 more pets and there's one more star. Another star from selling something in the trading plaza. And I have a second gift ready, and that got replaced with breaking 150 crates. I think fruit expires like so much faster. Like every update, it seems like it expires even faster. I had like 50 earlier, and then I just rejoined, and then boom, it's all gone. At least like 90% of it is. Where we broke enough crates, and then now we can activate a server boost. I like those quests. We're like almost there, and I just want to get to the end of this. All right, lucky server boost, and then trade with three players. Time for my alt to come back once again. And I, while I'm waiting for the alt to load in and everything, I can just go on these and get one more star. Here's another star, but it looks like my ult is ready, so let's trade it three times. And there is the third time, so we got another two stars. And then we can claim another gift. Oh wait, what? Why was it hatched 10 mythical pets for like the second one, but then this is hatched three mythical pets for the three stars? So they updated or something? I guess they made it even easier once again, but let's go get some damage things and then hatch the mythicals. So damage boost, buy one pet from merchants. I don't think any merchants are at the spawn right now, but we'll see about that. I yeah, know merchant, but we can definitely get those mythicals like really fast. I just did the legendary one. I'm not getting any mythicals from this though. I'm not getting too lucky right now. Well, if I did that, but now I have quests to buy from the merchants again. I keep getting like the worst quests possible. At least my one star quest is to break these. Hopefully I don't get like a merchant quest for my one star. Okay, break three more vaults, one more vault, and now it's 25 chests. Yeah, they definitely did make that one easier. And there we go. Already got 25 chests. Now 25 vaults again. Let's just go back to this area. Guys, this is pretty much the end game. We are about to get enough to get everything. All right, that was enough vaults. Now doodle world eggs. But okay, before we do that, we have 32 stars. Let's see how far we can get now. Eight. Eight. 
Nine. Ten for the next one. Okay, there are only three tiers left. It's gonna be over for the rewards battle pass thing whenever the merchants get here, though. Anyways, let's open some doodle eggs. All right, that's a hundred. Axolotl World is next. Okay, one more eight times, and there we go. One more star, then we can get 12 billion, and then we're on the final two tiers. Okay, last rainbow, then we get another star, and there. You can now buy that, then the next one is 10 stars again, but this time we're gonna get eight sailor eggs. These are literally the last two tiers. Need running one star quests again. Broke 25 chests. Broke 25 vaults. I have solar rainbow puffer fish again. I don't know exactly what time at the hour the merchant spawns. I just know it spawns like pretty much every hour, but I don't think it's ever spawning when the cannon spawns. So like, I don't, I don't really know if the merchant's even gonna spawn, but I gotta break 50 crates. All right, took care of the crates. Pixel world again. And there we go. 50 presents again. That's done. Fantasy world eggs next. Okay, fantasy world's done. Okay, after 100 spawns, world eggs we gotta hatch 25 legendaries probably the best place to do that is kawaii world the dog world because the legendaries are like so common basically the only thing we hatch here is a legendary okay then 100 pets at axolotl ocean once again okay we got the 10th star so now we can get the eight times sailor eggs we're literally on tier 149 now we just need 10 more stars and i can get the three pyre eggs that's literally it i'm gonna break 150 diamonds over here okay that wasn't too difficult cat world is next i've been here for a long time i think whenever the cannon event happens like it just doesn't spawn merchant that time because like it's never spawned the merchant and it's done that like three times during this video or it doesn't spawn it during the hour that the cannon spawns so we're just gonna have to grind these one star quests so after cat world is finally tech world again i don't know if i'm gonna be one of the first people that finished this i think i am because it's basically impossible based on the quest cycle because i don't think it's really luck i think near the end it tends to give you more making your rainbow pets and mysterious merchant stuff and and just more annoying ones i guess so this is like the earliest possible time that you can complete it i think but i don't know anyways we did that now we got to break 50 presents and after the presents fantasy world eggs once again then gold bro i got a gold 25 pets okay i guess let's just try to do that as fast as i can bro and of course the merchant is nowhere to be seen he spawned out this time earlier i still don't really understand the merchant that much but let's just make these pets golden i still don't really get how they did the math we're like two stars is 30 but then like one star is 25 for making golden pets but we only need like a few more so we're almost done with the one star anyways okay after that is doodle world eggs again so we're going back to doodle world bro look at my stars right now look six stars out of ten for the final tier I guarantee you right after I get enough stars, the merchant guy is gonna respawn. Okay, there we did the doodle world one. Next is sell one pet in a trading booth again. Okay, we sold it. Now I gotta break 25 chests. All right, at least this one is really easy. And our final quest is to break 25 vaults. Of course it is because honestly, the most quests I've probably gotten are for vaults and safes, but let's just break all these vaults already. Okay, four vaults. Yes, we're almost done with the event. One vault and we have 10 stars and you wanna know what is 10 stars tier 150 pirate egg let's go we have finally beat the event i gotta be quiet though because my parents are sleeping but like that's pretty crazy we beat the event now i can press restart and then it will make you spend robux to restart the event but bro we got the three pirate eggs we we're going pretty crazy right now so after staying up to almost 6 a.m in hours of hours of grinding the event, I think we're definitely one of the first people to beat it because I mean, once again, that was when like the free gifts reset. So it's really only possible to beat it now. And like I was camping it like right here. So I have to be at least within like the first 10 probably or something like that. But yeah, this is the video, the 30 minute video where, where I ran around and did all the summer quests that are super repetitive to get to tier 150, which was even harder than the last event. So um, I, I guess I'm gonna keep the pirate eggs and save them for later. They're gonna be worth a lot. Like they're already worth like a pretty decent amount after this event. They're gonna be worth so much more. It's gonna be crazy. But yeah, make sure to subscribe for notifications on, like the video, join this Chris link in the description do everything else linked in the description but thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video and i am scared of summer event part three because they're probably gonna have it to go to tier 200